Hey guys, it's Ashley with Pugs and Pearls, and today we're going to be doing a nail review for April. Um, so these are going to be the polishes that I wore in April. I'm gonna show you the pictures of the manicures. I also have this, I post them on my Instagram, which is Pugs and Pearls, so I'll put that down here for you guys. I don't know if y'all can see Pearl. She's in the background. She's gonna come hang out with us today. Oh, she just turned her little butt to us. She may be taking a nap, but um, these are the polishes that I wore. We're going to go over each one. I also did um, two stamping manicures, which I kind of want to give you guys some history because it's been a while since I've done any like nail polish type of video. So for a long time, I did my own nails and on this channel, I would share all of the nail polish hauls. I would share all of like my nail, nail art supply hauls. I ordered from tons of stores, was really into stamping plates, was really getting into stamping and nail art. Um, and then my work stuff kind of changed where my work life became way, way hectic. And I didn't have the time to do my at-home manicures like I was doing on like a weekly basis. Like I was doing nails all the time. So what I ended up doing, what kind of worked for me at that time was I went and got gel um, nails at the nail salon and I would do French manicures and I would like change it up I'd get some glitter or I'd do some some different kinds of gel polish with glitter and they'd always get like so annoyed with me because I'd be like oh we need to top it with that rock star polish like I want it to shine like I always would ask for something kind of custom um, but I did that because those gel manicures that my salon was doing was really going to last me a lot longer and therefore like it just saved me time and in my work environment I needed to save as much time as possible so I could get to work, have nice nails, look manicured. But since having quarantine and me being home all the time and no nail salons being open, I really have rediscovered how much I love my nail polish, how much I've missed it, how much I've missed doing my stamping manicures. So I'm just going to go into it and share with you guys like all the four ones I did this month, give you a little bit of review. And just so you know, I do use regular polish. I also love indie brands um, and I haven't really been in the indie brand world for a while. So you guys will have to tell me like what indie brands are new to you that you're in enjoying but I wrote my list down so let's start with the first one the first manicure I did was an OPI polish and this was a stamping manicure I had always wanted to do this with this particular polish it is called the don't violet me down and I got it at Marshall's as you can see like this lovely sticker tag I only paid $3.99 for it which again if you didn't know you can get so many good deals at polishes at Marshall's such amazing stuff they sell a ton of polishes for super discounts but this is a sheer tint polish which means it's not going to be fully opaque it just kind of gives you like a see-through kind of gel looking consistency and I always wanted to try a French manicure with this polish. So I pulled out my Frenchy nails. This is by Moyu London. This is one of their plates. Again, I think Moyu does a wonderful job on their plates. Um, this is just a lovely sleeve. And again, this is in the um, Frenchy collection. This is the number nine plate. They do a very good job. And this basically just gives you a ton of options for um, a French tip manicure from a curved stamp, from a straight stamp, all different kinds of thicknesses. So this really works for a lot of different nail sizes as well as nail shapes, which I really appreciate. So this was such a fun manicure to do. I'm gonna go ahead and pop on the screen what it turned out like. Um, it's definitely like not the best uh, French manicure, but it certainly was a fun way to stamp my French manicure. And I did enjoy it. It lasted about a week before it started chipping but it was a lot of fun to do and I finally got to use this sheer tints polish which was super exciting I actually have a couple of other colors and maybe I should try them out but finally got to use this purple one Alrighty guys, so this is exciting. This is just, again, a regular manicure I did. This is a cream polish. This is from a company called Pure Poison Polish. It is an indie brand and I love mint greens. I love turquoise. So as you can see, this is just a beautiful cream. I actually ordered a full collection of her like pastel polishes. I didn't haul them or anything. I did check this website prior to getting on here just to see if she even still ships because again with indie polish I never know if like sometimes they come and go sometimes brands don't stay around. I went to her website and nothing is allowed to be ordered right now so I don't know if that's just because of like the quarantine situation but this particular color is called bowl for two 
it is a beautiful polish well formulated I honestly think I only did two coats for this to be opaque it was almost opaque in one um, really really love just the consistency and the finish and it really was a pretty color on my nails Alrighty guys, next up was just another regular nail polish I did. This is called Superior. It's from the company Picture Polish. And I want to say that they're an Australian brand if I'm remembering that correctly. Now the cool thing that, um, that um, Picture Polish does is they partner with like nail people. And not necessarily like famous nail people, but like nail bloggers, people who own nail company lines, like people who just really like polish and maybe are like well known socially on like social platforms. So you'll notice that this one is actually by Jess Face 90. And if you've been around a while in the nail world on YouTube, you know who Jess Face 90 is. She actually started um, her channel on YouTube and she eventually made her own indie brand of polish called 90 Lacquer. Um, I have always loved um, her personality. She does a lot of great nail swatching videos, nail polish review videos, and now she has her own brand. I own a couple of her 90 Lacquer polishes. I'm actually looking at them right now in a row. Um, I love a lot of her holiday ones she comes out with, but I had to get this, of course, because she made it, but I love how beautiful this blue is. It's just a gorgeous blue. It has like some really small like shimmer glitter particles in it. Um, it's just a very, very gorgeous color. I'm a sucker for blues and so I was really happy to support her um, and again it says dive head first into the deep it's a very um, to me like water-based uh, looking kind of polish with a beautiful little um, bits of glitter and shimmer in there Alrighty guys, so I was feeling inspired later in the month. This is actually what I have on my nails now. I'm sorry it's coming off. I know it doesn't look pretty, but it is what it is. We needed to film today, so here's where we are. This is from another indie brand. It's called Girly Bits, and it is a called Showgirl Plucker. Now, I am so sorry. I did go on to check on this. I do not see this on her website, and it is very, very likely that this was a special uh, release. She does a lot of really cool collections. Highly recommend her polish. She's located in Canada. Um, and so I used this as my base for this manicure. Went on almost opaque in one. Beautiful consistency. I think I did two coats. And then I topped it with a stamping polish. And I used the nail plate by Uber Chic Beauty. Again, if you are into nail plates, highly recommend Uber Chic. She has really gorgeous, I think very well curated nail stamping plates. This one is kind of like in a peacock format. There's a ton of different peacock looking feather options. Um, and this is called their Fabulous Feathers. This is their mini plate. They do have bigger plates as well. Big fan of Uber Chic. Um, love their stuff. I've purchased from her for a while as well. Um, but that was a really fun polish to do. Again, I used a gold um, kind of uh, gold kind of metallic polish to stamp the feathers on top of the blue green glitter polish from Girly Bits, and I think it came out really nice. Just something fun to do. And actually, if you want to watch that nail stamping tutorial, I did film it as well as the French manicure one, and I will pop those videos up here so you guys can see them as well if you want to check them out. So guys, let me know what you've been loving with nail polish. Um, I'm definitely interested in a couple of things. I've been looking at some of these websites that I used to check out, and I'm even looking into some nail subscription boxes. So if you guys have any recommendations for them, please leave them in the comments below because I am doing some research because I want to check them out. But that's what I wore in April. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.